Happy birthday to Eden Abez, known to his friends as Abi, who was born on this day in 1908. Eden is most well known for writing the magical and timeless song Nature Boy, a song first recorded by Nat King Cole in 1948. It's since been recorded by Frank Sinatra, John Coltrane, Miles Davis, Ella Fitzgerald, David Bowie, as well as some 1960s psychedelic bands like Gandalf and Grace Slick and the Great Society. Born George Alexander Oberly in Brooklyn, New York, he spent his early life in orphanages before he was adopted by a family in Kansas. He was raised under the name George McGrew. In the 1930s, he played piano and led a dance band in Kansas City. George migrated to California in the early 1940s. It was there he fell in with the Nature Boys, vegetarian vagabonds who wore beards, long hair, and only ate raw fruits and vegetables. It was around this time that George adopted the name Eden Abez, in all lowercase letters. Apparently, Eden felt that the only words that were worthy of being capitalized were God and infinity. In 1947, Eden got his song Nature Boy to Nat King Cole. There was a boy, a very strange enchanted boy. They say he wandered very far, very far, over land and sea. Nat's recording made it to number one on the charts and stayed there for eight weeks. Nat also recorded the Abes composition, The Land of Love. Eden was an overnight success. That didn't stop him from continuing his nature boy lifestyle with his wife and son who are said to have lived under the Hollywood sign for a time. A Many people consider Eden to be one of the very first proponents of the hippie lifestyle. <laughs> After Nature Boy, Abby continued to write and record. Many artists recorded his songs, including Eartha Kitt singing Hey Jacques, and Sam Cooke singing Lonely Island, which was Eden's second and final entry into the top 40. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm so lonely because I live on a lonely island in the heart of the city. I live on a lonely island. In 1959, Eden would record his only full length album and his greatest work the Exotica spiritual masterpiece, Eden's Island. <laughs> The proto-psychedelic concept record blends beatnik poetry, spiritual wisdom, and exotic arrangements to create an album like no other. Though it reportedly only sold around 100 copies, its legend has grown over the years. Among some record nerds, Eden's Island is second to none and getting near $1,000 to get a clean original copy. If you've never heard Eden's Island, it's a very special album. Give it a listen. Hello Diz, hello Miles, hello Diz, hello Miles. Brian Wilson is a huge Obby fan. Eden even visited the Smile recording sessions in 1967. Eden continued to record until his untimely death from a car accident in 1995. There are hundreds of unreleased Eden Abez songs. I think the world will continue to discover and revere Abi for his amazing songs, and his lore will continue to grow. More and more of his lost and unreleased music will be discovered and shared. Thanks for the beautiful music, Abi. Beneath.